This game is played between a very strong and bright chess player from Kazakhstan, Abdul Malik Jansanya, against my friend and our team member Melgumian Herand, with whom we have analyzed uh, modern Maroti blind and collected all the material. e4, c5, uh, knight f3, knight c6, d4, Sicilian with, acceler uh, with accelerated dragon, and Abdul Malik is going to c4. Maroti bind, knight f6, knight c3, d6, bishop e2, knight d4, queen d4, bishop g7. Bishop e3, short castle, queen d2, a5, uh, short castle, a4, everything is going as we discussed, queen a5. And in this game, Abdul Malik is uh, playing rook a b1. She didn't know the theory well and she did a logical move, rook a b1, uh, going to play somewhere rook fc1 and with b3 protect the c4 pawn. Bishop e6 uh, was played. Knight d5, and uh, the same thing is working. Uh, now knight d5 is even worse for white. Uh, even if you take just knight d5, queen a5, rook a5, cd5, bishop d7, white don't have rook c7 move. But another plus, another uh, minus, sorry, is that after knight d5, queen d2, Malcolm took, knight d7, king h8, bishop d2, rook f8, knight d5, knight d5, cd5, bishop d5, same tactic. And now bishop a2 will be with tempo attacking rook uh, on b1. If bishop b5 still, rook e5 is just working, but uh, y, uh, black can even take bishop a2. Attacking the bishop, uh, sorry, rook on uh, b1 and after bishop e8, rook b1, bishop f7, bishop d3 back, attacking f2, f1 um, rook, attacking b2 pawn, so white has big problems. So cd5, bishop d5, and here Jansanya played b3. Uh, now, Malkmian uh, could take a b3, a b3, rook a2, and white has some problems in the ending. Our rook on a2 is very strong. Uh, he is using uh, the strength of the bishop on g7, so not letting anywhere to play rook a1 and change the rook. So, uh, black is a little bit better, but Malkmian did even a better move. He played f5, uh, continuing the pressure on e4 pawn, and if uh, white take e5, then uh, just will be uh, rook e2. I should put it here, yeah. Rook e5, uh, rook e2. Now d2 is hanging. A b3, a b3, rook a2 is coming. So uh, it's a very unpleasant position uh, for uh, for white. So f5, uh, white played bishop b5. Now bishop c6. Here is the thing. Rook is not on c1. In the previous uh, lines where we covered, uh, rook was on c1. So bishop c6 would be not possible. It would be take, take, rook c6. But now because there is not rook on c1, bishop c6 uh, just. B a4 was played, f e4, f e4, rook e4. Now uh, white has double pawns on a4 and on a2, and uh, also our uh, bishops are staying more active than opponent 1. Uh, we want to take bishop b5 already. Bishop b5, if a b5, rook a2, we will take, and if bishop b5, rook a b5, we will take rook a4, uh, rook b7, yeah, and then rook a2, and we are pawn up. So a5 was play played, protecting uh, the a5 pawn. And now Malkmian doing a very nice move, bishop d5. He is keeping the bishops, attacking a2 pawn. And if white just play a4, protecting the a4 pawn. Here rook g4, uh, attacking the g2 uh, pawn. If rook f2, we will play just bishop d4. And because of the, this spin, uh, white lose exchange. Uh, so rook g4, and if g3, bishop d4. And uh, it's uh, almost checkmate, so white should play rook f2 and losing a material. So after bishop d5, uh, white plays uh, here rook b4. Here Malcolmian did rook c8 move, and after rook e4, bishop e4, he fight it uh, very long, but could not uh, win this game. However, after rook b4, he could get uh, much better chances if he just took rook b4, bishop b4, and just bishop a2, taking opponent pawn, bishop d6, rook a5. And we have, uh, the, uh, we are pawn up, b7 pawn, yeah, white has also good chances for draw, but this game would be two results. We win or draw, and like 60 or 70 percent of the times we will win this game, it's pawn up. So here rook a b1 is not giving anything uh, to white, we just continue the same way. Bishop e6, and this knight d5, it's even worse for white. Let's go to the next game.